What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not one of my subscribers already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up. Today we are going to be discussing something very interesting and super common. One of the most common questions that we get after every installation. What is this? HDR, 4K, SDR, 4x4x4, blah, 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 blah. We're going to get into some of those details with my national product training manager, Chris, with JVC. Hi, <laughs> and we're going to do it right after the intro. Okay, so Chris, tell me, why do we need to enable HDR? What is the setting right here? Well, actually, you don't, Zach. This this is how you what? want it. What? You get <laughs> HDR by not enabling HDR. But but I, I know you're confused. This is uh, trust me. This is all gonna make sense. <laughs> the first thing we want to do before we do anything, we want to check that HDMI connection. I'm not gonna do this because it takes about two three minutes, and you'll just see me and Zach standing around going, "Ah, oh, what's going on?" But trust me, the first thing you do, check the HDMI connection. Apple TV has a great test function, okay? And we're using this with the JVC RS3000. This applies to every JVC 4K HDR projector, and it applies to any other 4K display that you're likely to find. Check the HDMI connection, okay? So come back two minutes later, it says the HDMI connection is fine, we're good to go. Yeah, and you guys won't even have to worry about this when you buy from us, because when we sell a nice projector like a JVC RS3000, 1000, 2000, doesn't matter. Any native 4K projector and a nice screen like this, we're sending you a fiber optic 18 gigabit per second 4x4x4 four 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 cable for sure. You should be in good shape then. So, um, we're gonna get out of this. We've checked our HDMI connection. We verified that the connection's fine. Now, the next thing that most people would do, oops, is go up here. Well, logically enable HDR. No, okay? What are you talking about, Chris? So, what we want under format, we are gonna pick 4K SDR. Trust me, this is how you get HDR once we're all said and done. All right. So we're gonna pick 4K SDR. Listening. Okay, so now, the next thing that we need, Chroma, our options are 444 and 420. 420 will only give us limited 4K functionality and limited HDR functionality. So we want 444. Again, we're gonna select that, and again, it's gonna to wanna to run a test. Again, this is gonna take another two or three minutes. That's okay, let it do it you want 444. Now here's the magic. I'm ready. Okay, match content is the menu item we're looking at. Match dynamic range and match frame rate are our two choices. Match dynamic range is the key. What this is telling the Apple TV is when it's SDR, when it is that 20 year old episode of Gilligan's Island. All right, I'm listening. Or when it's the two year old Netflix movie that okay. was 1080p. It's saying that's cool. Just show it as SDR. But because it's matching the dynamic range, when that movie says HDR or when that movie says Dolby Vision, it's going to send it in that original. HDR quality. Okay. So all it's just, HDR. It's basically passing through the signal. Yes, it's not trying to manipulate. It's or like change. when you. It, can I compare this to like when you have an AVR and you put it on through? Yes, source direct through whatever. Got yes. it. This is the key. Match dynamic range. We want that on. HDR will be HDR. SDR will be SDR. Super important, guys. This Most is key. Most important thing in the whole video. Yep. Match frame rate. This is a secondary thing, but it's still cool to do. Match frame rate means most TV content, again, that, that old TV show on Hulu, or uh, some sports content, most, most content that has a TV uh, uh, that started out as TV is 60 frames per second. 
let's show that as it looked originally at 60 frames per second. But most Hollywood content is shot at 24 frames per second. Yep. This is an artistic decision that the director made. And most people that have a nice home theater, the whole point is let's see it the way the director intended. Yep. So again, artistic intent. So match frame rate means that that 24 frame movie content is sent to the projector in, at 24 frames per second. So it has that slightly different look that causes your brain to lock in and go, you know what, I'm watching a movie as opposed to I'm watching live TV. So both of those are important. Make sure those are both turned on. At this point, we're ready to go. Now, I'm gonna show you a really cool thing that JVC does. We're gonna go to Netflix. And we're going to sign in here. And notice, right now in the menu, let me turn the, the lights JVC down a little bit. is in the regular natural picture mode, okay? That is the SDR mode for 1080p. Now, I'm gonna go and I'm going to find Stranger Things or something else that is 4K HDR. I'm gonna hit resume. And now I didn't have to do anything. All on its own, automatically, the JVC projector, as you will see here in just a second. And this is? Went to frame adapt yeah. HDR. Okay. So I didn't have to mess with the projector settings. In frame adapt HDR, everything that I set there is recalled. And the moment I hit stop and go back to the menu, Take another look. Again, I'm not changing anything on the JVC remote. I'm just waiting for the screen to come up. And now I'm back in the menu and it's out of frame adapt. Frame adapt was the picture setting for HDR. And now it's back to natural, which is the picture setting for SDR. Now the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what really, you wanna see the biggest mistake that happens? Yeah, yeah, Okay. absolutely. So. The most common complaint is people think it's HDR, and so they choose the HDR preset like Frame Adapt. And now I want you to take a close look, maybe even grab the camera, Zach, and zoom yeah. in on look at some of these thumbnails down here as we make this change. Okay? okay. So watch how the picture changed. Now I've manually switched. This is the mistake that happens. Look at what happened Oversaturation. to Michael J. Fox. Yep. The reason this happened is because this is an SDR signal, but I don't know that. And logically I'm thinking, oh, let me put it on HDR. Yep. So again, the beauty with JVC is don't mess with the remote. <laughs> let it do its just, thing. Just leave it. <laughs> Leave it on the setting. This is like the opposite yeah. of what everybody has been trained to do over the years with their systems is go in and ma manipulate the settings. Exactly. Everything's going auto now, guys. JVC remembers the setting you last used for SDR automatically. Okay? So it'll always, Michael J. Fox looks just like he should again, right? And when you get an HDR signal, the JVC is programmed to switch to that frame adapt preset, unless you change it, okay? Mm -hmm. But just leave it the way it is, set up your Apple TV correctly, and you're gonna be in good shape. And that is how you set up an Apple TV correctly with a JVC projector. Well done. This Thank is you. key, guys. If you don't do this, you're probably gonna be one of the people shooting me the email, sending me the text saying, it's defective. <laughs> take, take, take a look, the, the, Apple, the Apple screen is a good one as well. I hope this helps you guys, seriously. This is, this is so important. Watch this, again, 
this is an SDR movie yeah. screen, but when I change to frame adapt, if we think, okay, we think it's HDR. Yeah. Notice how the colors are just way too strong. Yeah, looks how horrible. All the reds and Netflix and YouTube and CNN, everything got too harsh. You follow what I'm saying? So again, don't worry about the menu. With yeah. JVC, you just, don't have to. Just, just, just let it do it, its thing. Run it that latest firmware update. Yeah. Re rewind this video to the beginning, <laughs> watch it a second time, do what we recommended, you're gonna love it. Nice. There awesome. You go. Well, that's it, guys. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and found it informative and in helping you set up your new JVC projector. If you guys would like to purchase, make sure you give us a call, show your support. We do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee on all the products we sell. Not only do we have JVCs, but we can help you out with speakers, projector screens like this beautiful screen innovations. ALR 1.2 and anything else you need. We really appreciate it guys. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach at Dream Media Home Theater with Chris from JVC. Thank you. Thanks for watching guys.